Minnesota State Patrol reported the crash involved ultimately seven vehicles, five passenger cars, and two semi-trucks, including one semi-truck, which obviously jackknifed. The southbound lanes were closed for approximately two hours before one lane was reopened. Incredibly, there were no injuries reported with the pileup. A closer analysis of this crash event shows how the median cable barrier helped prevent serious injuries by preventing several cars, including both semis, from going into oncoming lanes. While the barrier did limit some lateral movement for the vehicles, it ultimately played a major role in preventing more significant forces from being involved.